Hello and welcome to HobbyKing.com. My name is Stuart and you join me here this evening on a somewhat stormy night, but it's quite calm. So I'm here to present to you the official flight review of a new model from HKing. This is a new ARF and it is the HKing 1 meter Savage Bobber. Now, as has been the case with some previous HKing releases, you may have already seen them on the market in uh, very similar forms. Um, and it's, I can say it's the same, uh, same can be said for the Savage Bobber. The difference is with the HKing version, ours actually flies, and it actually flies really rather nicely. Not only does it fly, but it has, I'll talk you through the features, a wingspan of one meter. It is designed for a brushless outrun of around 1100 kV. I've got an SK3 uh, 1150 in here at the moment. Uh, anything from a 30 to 40 amp speed controller and you're running on, or you will be running on a 1000 to 1300 3S battery. Now servos, you can go anything from uh, three gram right up to six grams. If you are rocking six grams, as I am here, in this version you see in front of me, you will need to do a little bit of modifying just to get those servos to fit. And by modifying, I mean just shaving away a little bit of material, but it's an ARF, so that's what you'd come to expect from an ARF model. The work that we've done on this frame to make it actually a really, really nice flying airframe. Um, being a stall type model, this is a uh, scale model of the Zlin Savage Bobber, which was a full-size aircraft based on a Cub or Super Cub uh, with this fully exposed construction that you see really quite nicely replicated here. Now, um, being a store model, you of course want those uh, want it to have flaps, and it does, and you'd want those flaps to work well, which with the H-King Savage Bob, they do work very, very well. And I'll show you what I mean. Very simply, if I turn it around here, you'll see that very simply with our flaps, you're able to get pretty much a full 90 degree deflection. Not only that, but they are beautifully bottom hinged as you can see here and they're bottom hinged right out the box and speaking of hinging in fact all the surfaces are hinges apart from the rudder that is pre-hinged but you need to glue those hinges in uh, and as part of the process for installing the tail plane. Now construction wise it is a mix of laser cut light ply and balsa and the uh, the really cool bit the exposed part of the uh, rear here is a uh, mixture of glass fiber black rods and uh, painted plywood um, to give that nice open structure effect. Now I've talked a little bit about the construction as in the materials used but I want to also touch on how it comes out of the box other than the uh, pre-installed control surfaces that I've just mentioned. Uh, it comes out as two wing panels, a uh, horizontal stab and a vertical stab and a cowl uh, and of course this very cool looking uh, bush type undercarriage. Now it's a very, very simple assembly and there is of course a manual provided. If you look under the files tab of the product description, you will see our HKing version of the Savage Bob and manual. Follow that to the letter and you'll be presented with at the end of the process which will probably take you a few hours in the evening, a very nice looking uh, H-King Savage Bobber, which does fly really quite nicely, as again, we'll show you in just a moment. One final thing to note, uh, I talked about the servos. It's anything from three to six grams. It will use six, uh, it will use three grams, but in all honesty, you really wanna go for say like a HXT 500, very popular server, very good, reliable. And you can see one, for example, installed in the rear here on the elevator. And uh, the point being, with just a little shaving of material, uh, removing some material away from the openings here, you can get those uh, five to six gram servos to fit very, very easily. Uh, other than that, whilst I've got it here, underneath this uh, bit of foam here, I've got the uh, 1300 milliamp power 3S. That's a battery just like this. Very simply, you put that in all the way forward. I'm using just a small piece of uh, hard foam just to hold that in place. And Bob's your uncle, that's the CG point. Speaking of CG, you want to be approximately, well, I'll turn it over. You see the, uh, the black and yellow, you approximately want to be just about two or three millimeters behind that black line. That is your CG point. So that's an easy one to remember. Whilst I've got it here, I'll turn it over. You can see the flap servos again. These are all six grams on my build. Uh, flap servos, and then you'll see the, the servos at the tail for the elevator and rudder. And the, um, the bush style undercarriage, these are light foam wheels that just bolts straight on. The only thing that you're seeing here in the middle is my extension leads and servo leads, but you could, in all honesty, put a very lightweight pilot uh, in the center there to disguise those leads really quite easily. But for the purpose of this flight demonstration, I've just left them out in the open there. So that's about it for the talking part and introduction to the H-King one meter Savage Bobber. What we're gonna do now, once this weather calms down just a little bit, we're gonna take the Savage Bobber out and uh, give you a little demonstration of just how well it flies uh, in this H-King format. So stick around and I'll see you in just a minute out there on the flight line. All 
All right, so here we are, we're out in the field. The, uh, the storm has passed, it's getting a little dark. Uh, it's mostly calm, but you'll see that the H-King Savage Bobber does really quite well. So I'll give you a quick little flight demonstration to show, uh, show you guys what it can do, and just in fact that it does fly and flies rather nicely. Now remember, this is on a 3S battery. This is actually the uh, um, 1,000 milliamp power pack. Uh, you can, of course, run up to a 1,300 milliamp power, no problem. All right, let's get it ready and we'll take off. All right, so there is the little fella. I've got it on uh, low rates, but quite a lot of movement. I'm not sure if you can see there, but anyway, we'll talk you through it. I'm just going to do a no flap takeoff. It does have two stages of flap, but this is no flap takeoff. Taking off. Here we go. Hold off some elevator. It's a towel dragger. Apply the plow. Apply the power gradually. I'm at half throttle now as it takes off. There we go. And then full power climb away. Now, of course, it's not a rocket ship, but that 3S power is really, really matched quite nicely for this kind of end of day cruising. And they, there you go, you see it going downwind there. Well, I say downwind, there's not much wind now. That's all on half power. We'll give you a full power fly pass, full power from the right. This scoots rather well. How's that looking on camera? That's good. All right, I'm bringing it back around. I'm gonna go around to the left now. Coordination in the turn, of course like you would expect with most, most cubs. Do a little bit of aerobatics. So I'm gonna take out full power now, level, and then mid rates into a loop. A Little bit of power on the out, very, very nice. It's getting a little busy here now, so excuse that, that's because it's the end of day. It's just finished raining and everyone wants to fly. So I'll bring it around again to another pass into wind. I'm gonna do a roll this time, it doesn't roll massively well of course it is a cup you can coordinate with some rudder full power high rate roll there we go now you can do it and it can do it but that's not really what you want to be doing this is the zlin or the h king savage cub so it's all about getting the flaps on which we have working really quite well it does pitch up uh, quite a bit with flaps especially full flaps but let me show you mid flaps now do a nice touch and go on mid flaps Keep the nose down a bit, a little bit of power, don't over flare it. And then, there we go. The grass is a little sticky. Got a little night fly coming in there. It has rain, so the grass is a little sticky. So now I'm gonna do a, a mid flap takeoff for you guys. All right, ready, taking off? Need a bit of rudder to fight the torque. Yeah, sort of well, there we go. And I'm going to take it up now and just show you guys quickly this stall. Because it will stall. It's not the uh, tamest of beasts for sure. So let's get it up. A little bit of trim there. And I'm going to do no flap stall into wind. Ready? And there's the stall. See, it will drop. But apply some power and let it recover and then apply some power too high. and there she goes. Have a pass this way, cameraman. So yeah. Low left, do, right. I roll a bit to the left. Cruising pass. Right. Yeah, very, very nice. Yep. Yeah. And then flaps yeah, yeah, yeah. off and full power yeah. away on this 3S <laughs> setup. Do a little stall turn off the top here. There we go. And that's my timer. So on this 1,000 milliamp power pack, you can expect to get around five minutes flight time. And then bring it in now. And there's a bit of wind that's come up now, so I'm just gonna bring it in under power with no flaps. Keep the power on, keep the nose down, and then let's see if I can get it to land a little closer to us. And also, uh, there we go, and I'll taxi it in. If you don't fly too high, already on this height, it might be a bit scary, you also There we are, that was the, uh, the H-King Savage Bobber. Not much to it in the flight review because really there's not much to it in the model. It's a pretty straightforward ARF. A few little quirks to work uh, to look out for. Namely, you just need to keep the speed up uh, when flying um, in uh, smaller spaces. Make sure the air keeps flowing over the surfaces because it is a little higher loaded than some other models. But then what you're rewarded with is a truly unique looking aircraft. And once you know its quirks, it does fly very, very well. And the point is it does fly. It hasn't flown in previous versions that you may have seen, but the H-King version, as you've seen, most definitely does. And it's well worth uh, investing some time and a little bit of money in purchasing the model because it's a very rewarding, if somewhat different, 
uh, airframe to fly. So thank you very much for watching. Look out for links uh, beneath this video to the product. It is an ARF, so we will also have in there links to recommended servos, speed controllers, and motors and the like. Uh, check it out now on hobbyking.com. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.